Spring Actuator is a series of endpoints that allow you to see into your application. When enabled, navigating to slash health will indicate if the application is healthy by returning a status of 200 or unhealthy by returning an empty response. While this information is useful, these endpoints may contain sensitive system information such as internal bean names, application server information, or thread dumps listing files. In this tutorial, let's find out how to configure Spring Boot Actuator to turn off the health endpoint as an example. Note, while using health as an example, it could be applied to any one of the existing endpoints. Spring created a web interface to quickly initialize a web application with Spring Boot. A very similar process can be found within Spring STS and the starter projects. Let's create a web application by filling in data and generating a project. Once downloaded, we can import the Maven project into a workspace. Notice in our pom.xml file, we will have the Spring Boot Starter Actuator dependency. Boot is built around a series of switches contained in a file named application.properties or application.yaml file that allow for configuration. There isn't an all-encompassing list of properties, but a good reference can be found in Spring Boot's reference docs. For each actuator endpoint, there is a common property that exists, such as ID, sensitive, and enabled, while a handful of endpoints have custom elements. The pattern is endpoints, name of endpoint, an identifier. Since the project we created has a blank properties file, let's add properties to support the health endpoint. Let's fire up our server and make a request to slash health to validate the project is configured properly. Making a request to health should return the JSON response with a status of up. To turn it off, we simply need to change endpoints.health.enabled from true to false. Making the change and restarting should give us the JSON response containing this endpoint is disabled. While this turns off the health URL, it still makes it accessible. If you want more control on which endpoints are turned on, you can change endpoints.enable to false, which will require each endpoint to have a configuration within the application.properties file. Thanks for joining in today's Level Up. Have a great day.